A pivot table is a report showing a summary of data. And it's called a pivot table because it's often different than the way the data is captured. For example, in this spreadsheet, each data element is a year, department, and a budget amount. And that doesn't lend itself to analysis. In iReport Designer, you start by creating a pivot table by defining the data set. And in this case, this Excel is going to provide us with a list of fields. Now, those fields come in as strings. So for the amount which we want to sum, we'll need to adjust that to a double or some type of numeric that will support summing. Now, to create a pivot table, you use a cross tab component from the palette and you drag it on and you go through the wizard. This is the step where you're going to, using the fields that were created in the previous step, you're going to identify what is a row and what is a column and what is going to be your data measure. In this case, year is going to be the left hand most column. There will be a, an arrangement of department and totals uh, going through the spreadsheet. If you have other elements, you'll add them as well and the result will be this type of report. Now the next step you'll have to format the report a little. Uh, I'd like to format the numbers and change some of the labels. You go into the cross tab tab in designer and you can make adjustments on that part of the report. So here drag out the width of the different columns, uh, adjust the data fields that are in them, uh, labels, you simply have to click and replace the text. And so once you feel like the data is uh, aligned right or sized correctly, you can then select them and, and do some other things like formatting. So with a control, uh, select the data elements and then go into your properties. And from the properties, you know, select the number format that you want. Everything was 0, 0.0, so in this report, we'll drop the zeros. And finally, there's a report. Every column is listing a department, and down the rows is the list of years.